All right, fire away. What do you got? Yeah, I mean, you know, the first day you're hoping uh, that, you know, that, that there's a bit of a carryover with, with veteran presence in certain areas. Uh, so, you know, when you get, you know, into some team time, you want to see a, a, a competitive environment with guys that know how to practice the right way, and that was certainly the case. Um, uh, you know, the quarterback uh, book looked sharp. Uh, you know, Chase Claypool looks natural at the position in terms of where we're playing him. Um, I think there's going to be some really good continuity on the offense and defensive line. Um, you know, so those things, they know how to practice. Uh, they know the pace of practice. So a lot of, a lot of good things that you would expect in the first day with a, a group that um, clearly knows uh, the standards of, of how to um, practice the right way. Well, I want to continue to give them opportunities to lead in different kind of environment. Like, you know, being a captain in the weight room and being part of the SWAT team is, is one thing, but now handling different situations where m maybe they have to interact a little bit differently in the locker room, on a practice field. Uh, you know, there, there's just, I, I want to expose them to as many opportunities to lead. And so this segment, um, of our development of this football team just lends itself to different opportunities. So I'm just trying to give them as many opportunities to lead uh, because they're all uh, kind of new at this. And so it just, it, it just gives them more experience. Coach, right. I know you let's, let's go over here because he rudely interrupted the young lady. So <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll let him continue. Does he go next then? Yeah, well, no, there's no interrupting you. <laughs> No, no, he's going to play center. Okay. Yeah, he's going to play center for us. Um, uh, like his athleticism, smart kid. Um, really, uh, the one thing that, that, that really stood out last year was um, assignment correct, uh, emotionally stable uh, in a sense that uh, every single day you got the same kid. Um, and, and we like that at the center position. Um, he's going to have some help with the guards in terms of they've got some experience and they'll be able to call out some things for him. Uh, we need to continue to work on his technique, snapping the ball. Not that the ball was all over the place, uh, but we've got some work to do technique-wise there. But um, we really feel like that that's a good position for him. I mean, when Roland is healthy, is he the guy or do you think Patterson could challenge him? Oh, no, he'll definitely challenge him. You know, you know, Rulin is, is going to be a guy that, that um, is a utility player for us that can play, you know, the guard and center position. And, but, but, you know, quite frankly, he's, you know, he's got some things physically that, that make it difficult for him to play maybe 72 plays. So he's going to be an important part moving forward for us. But I think, you know, play in and play out, um, you know, we're, we're really grooming, you know, Jared to be in there for the long haul. Coach, uh, I know you got an abundance of second-year wide receivers, but Braden Lindsay, according to the roster, has gained 14 pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, how will that impact his game this year? Well, I, I think anybody that um, has been in our strength and conditioning program and has really shown, um, you know, a dedication to it is, is, is going to put on a coat of armor and get, you know, thicker without getting slower. You know, Michael Young has been the same if you look at him. Uh, Michael has put on weight, uh, good weight, and he's faster. So um, he just needed that, you know, weight to, to get out there and cover up DBs and, um, and, and do his job, uh, catch the ball in traffic, and be more confident as a, as a football player. Um, still got to catch it, uh, and you got to catch it consistently. But he hasn't lost a step. He's got that explosive speed that, that we recruited. But certainly, uh, a stronger player is a more confident player. Coach, did Patterson work at, at center all before this offseason? I know Mustafer kind of came in. You converted him right away. Did, did he have to do it at all last? Not during the season, but like 
Yeah, we had him working on scout team, snapping the football, and, and then uh, – uh, during our bowl prep, uh, we had him work in there as well. And then when we started in January, um, you know, he's been snapping since then. But he has no previous experience prior to then? No, zero. Uh, what about Luke Jones? It looks like his ankle was wrapped pretty heavily. And Zeke Corral? Or... Yeah, Zeke, Zeke snapped for us. Luke will snap for us. Um, th those three guys are definitely – um, are going to get a lot of work this spring at the center position as well. Uh, Luke sprained an ankle. Um, he's coming back from it. He's not 100% yet. Um, like the progress that he's made, in particular physically uh, in the weight room. Um, you know, Zeke is uh, a guy that we uh, are very high on, but he's physically, he's only 265 pounds right now, so he's got to continue to grow. We didn't see Devin Scottsville out there repping today. Yeah, Devin has decided to transfer. Uh, he'll enter the transfer portal. Um, and, um, you know, we love Devin. We wish him the best. He'll graduate here in the spring uh, and look for uh, another opportunity. But uh, really uh, has done everything we've asked him to do. He's been a great teammate. Um, he's worked his butt off. I think he's in the best uh, condition and best shape of his life. Uh, expect him to uh, do really well wherever he ends up. That we saw in response to that, you need more safety. He, he, he DJ Brown. safety today. DJ no, Brown. Sorry, DJ Brown, yeah. DJ Brown repping safety today. Was that in response to Hustle or is he kind of cross training? He was cross training. You know, we, we had an indication on stud. Um, but uh, yeah, we wanted to see DJ at, at both those positions. Frank, uh, Cole Komet got saved last night. You, you gave him the weekend off. This is his off. last weekend that he'll miss, yes. Yeah, so we felt like in practice one, you know, where we weren't doing a whole lot, uh, we didn't want him to miss some contact scrimmages. So working with, uh, with baseball that we felt like this would be the one to give up. Did you hear about Miles Boykin today? Yeah, I heard his numbers were what we thought they would be. You know, he's been a 40-inch vertical for us, and, um, you know, those are great numbers, you know. But uh, I think we all know you got to translate those on the football field. Um, and he will. out there for you where you look at that entire group and say, you know, th this group has probably made the greatest strides physically, athletically, off-season conditioning? Uh well, I think, you know, there are some guys that would probably look at uh, the defensive line right now and look at Julian Okora and the weight, the good weight that he's put on. Um, I mean, I, I think across that defensive line, they, they've done a great job of not only uh, putting on weight but strength with the weight. They, they look really good. I mean, you, you guys were out there. Um, there's not a guy that – doesn't look good and it's put on functional weight for their position. Um, Chase Claypool looks faster, moves faster, catches the ball um, with speed out of the break. So he looks more explosive. Um, the guys that need to look good <laughs> for us to be good look good. So. I guess I kind of looked at the running backs as maybe a, a group that Jameer Smith, you mentioned him yesterday. He looks good. Yeah, he has. He's carved himself up. Um, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm going to reserve uh, any comments on that group. Uh, I'm going to let Lance kind of get, um, you know, his stamp on those guys. I saw a lot of really good things from them today. But I, I'm going to tap the brakes a little bit on that position on, on, and let Lance kind of work on that group. Um, but we saw some really good things from that group today. Brian, where's Shane Simon maybe compared to where he was at the end of last season? And just a lot more confident, playing faster. You know, everything was robotic last year. Um, he, you know, he had to see it um, before he could react. He's reacting, you know, playing a lot faster. Um, I think we'll see a lot more for him. Again, it's the first day, but, I mean, just everything that he does – 
engagement, conversation. His eyes were down last year when you had a conversation with him. He's looking you in the eye. So just the natural progression of a young guy that, you know, we think is on, is on the come. I, I think he's going to do some nice things for us. Do you still want to cross-train him at Fox? You know, I really think that, Lou, I think all of that is, is really going to be decided by the guys themselves, you know, by – who really takes over a particular position. I mean, we're, we're open to whatever happens there. Uh, cross training generally means that you haven't figured out which position that they really, you know, have descended upon, you know? So I think if somebody really shows themselves at a particular position, uh, we're less interested in cross training. Is that what some guys feel at linebacker? Because you have so many candidates there. Are there some where you're saying, okay, this guy is exclusively a mic or a box? I'd say after day one, until I watch some film uh, on guys tackling and playing real football, um, there, there's, no, there's no set positions in there right now. Brian, when Lindsey elected not to run track after that was kind of a big deal for him, just your thoughts on that and maybe what you hope or expect out of him this spring? Uh, you know, he's... He's really focused on uh, wanting to play this year. He felt like he needed to get stronger and he was worried about um, not being able to fulfill the things that he came here for, and that was to make an impact in football. I mean, he didn't come here to his, with his first priority being track. I mean, he would have went to Oregon um, if that was number one. Um, I think when he uh, settles into uh, his niche in a football sense. I think he'll go and, and, and try to run some track here. But I think he wants to find his place in football first. Uh, uh, coach. Is, left, is left guard a competition or is Banks your guy? He's our guy. He's got a sprained foot. Um, so we were, we're going to go easy on him until we get back um, uh, from break. And then he'll be full go. I mean, if we were playing this weekend, he would play. Um, but we're going to be very cautious with him until we get back. And when we get back, same thing with Alohi. He's got an abductor, either an abductor or an adductor strain. I'm not sure. <laughs> one I think you is in and one is out. I'm not sure which one. But he's got one of those strains. And um, we're being very cautious with him as well. Oh, I just think the continued strength, uh, growth as a player, knowledge of the position. Um, I, I think there were times where, you know, just being on the same page with the guy next to him, whether it be the tackle or the center, you know, building continuity within the group. Um, but he's an extremely gifted player. Yeah, he's uh, just getting him back in there and, and, and working together as a group. But, but he'll be back in there uh, probably once we get back from break. Uh, Coach, this is Ian's first first offseason, first spring ball, really, as the guy, you know, the clear-cut starting quarterback. Have you noticed a, a change in him at all, how he carries himself as just being now kind of a, a clear leader of the team? Oh, yeah, and, and we've put him in a leadership position as well. So um, I, th I think when, you know, a couple of things happen. One, you, you, you are put in a position of uh, leadership you handle yourself differently. But two, uh, the expectations um, he's handled um, on a day-to-day -day basis quite well. So, um, you know, Ian's not a guy, I, I think we all know him enough that, you know, he's not a, a particularly loud and vocal guy, but um, he's gonna stand up when he needs to say something. Um, he's done that a couple of times, he was asked to do that. Uh, and uh, it resonates quite well. So he is a different leader than he was last year. Uh, he was just the quarterback at Notre Dame last year. He's a leader in our program. That's a big difference. Thank you, guys. Good. All right, thanks. thanks.